Today I'm going to show you how you can back up your artwork in Infinite Painter and save it to a cloud storage sort of system and then you can go ahead and restore it back into Infinite Painter if you're switching from device or you want to move from your phone to your tablet and vice versa. So what you're going to need to go ahead and do, there is no way to do it in multiple fashion from what I can see. So for example, what we'll do is we'll open up any one of my YouTube tutorials, for example, and the first thing you're going to want to do is go up to the three dots in the top right. We're going to go to the option here of export and once you selected export, you're going to want to change the type of export from PNG to a painter project. You can save it as a PSD as well. That means it's more compatible, for example, with Photoshop, but a painter project is then the infinite painter file format. So if you tap on a painter project, you can then also pick the option. Do you want to save this file with the history as well as the time lapse as well? If you add the time lapse, it will make the file a little bit larger. If you then go to the option of create, once you're happy with your settings, if you hit create, you're then going to get asked, where do you want to go ahead and save it? Now, your best bet is saving it to, say, a Google Drive or a Dropbox or any sort of cloud storage that you have available to you. So you can select, for example, again, Google Drive. And then you can pick whereabouts you want to save it in your drive and just hit upload. And once it's uploaded, the window will disappear. Then on the device that you want to go ahead and start moving your work to, you're going to want to open up Google Drive on there. You can see I've got the 26 painter project which you saw a second ago. Now just at the bottom there for a split second, you'd have seen that this file is unsupported. That's perfectly fine. It's just Google Drive doesn't recognize it. What you need to do is now on the device that you want to start moving all your work to, open up Drive and the item here, then go to the three dots in the top right and go to the option of download and save it to the files on the device that you want to move stuff to. So I can, for example, on my iPad, just hit save to files. And then once you've found the file on your device, the only thing you need to do is for me anyway, on my iPad is I can tap on it and it will simply open up in Infinite Painter. You may need to go ahead and tap on it and say that you want to open it in Infinite Painter. But if I tap on 26 here, it opens it up and it says the file was imported as a new project. And if I back out of here, I go all the way back to my home screen. I can see you've got the other versions here that I've already previously imported back in. And if you found this video helpful, you'll probably find this one on the screen now as well. I've got loads of helpful videos for Infinite Painter. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one.